welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and Rufus is a busy Roman these days. Not only do we need to squash this Armenian rebellion, but Romanize more lords, hand out some fiefs, move our fleet, plus prepare for our second campaign against the Bosporan Kingdom. So, guys, there is no time to waste. So sit back on your comfy thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play Imperial Rome. There is more to do than I can even possibly mention in the intro. And one of those things is right behind me, guys. I think there's a new lord, especially a Roman lord that wants to join Nova Roma. Word must have spread. Lord Fabi, actually. Let's talk to Lord Fabi. Ah, so Germanicus is really losing a couple of lords. I think this is the second lord that Germanicus has lost to Nova Roma. To General Rufus, I would be honored to accept your pledge. I need to check out to see what's going on over there since so many lords are leaving him. Uh, now, uh, what I need to do is also start handing out some fiefs. There are quite a few fiefs that I need to make sure I'm protecting here in the Bosporan Kingdom. Um, well, the former Bosporan Kingdom. Now, I'm going to keep uh, Pitiant for General Rufus. And the reason why is I am going to use that. I'm going to park my fleet there. And I'm going to use this as my um, gateway to assault the rest of the Bosporan Kingdom. But these other fiefs that ha I think I've given this out but there's two more fiefs two more fortresses that I need to give out and I think there may be possibly another village that's unclaimed is this village unclaimed no that's not the one it must be it must be this one right yes okay so I've got a couple of fiefs that I can hand out plus who does this belong to? Ah, belongs to the Sumatians. Okay, so we can definitely hand out this fief. We could hand out a couple of fortresses, which is, yep, these two right here. And plus, we're going to give this to General Rufus so he can put his fleet in the ports of that particular town. Okay, so now we know what we're going to do. Plus, guys, there's so many other things. I've just found a new way to recruit some men from our capital. I am super excited about it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's talk to uh, Jeremy the Drunk. How are you doing? Are you enjoying your time back in the capital? I hope so, but are you ready? Listen to me. Make sure you can take some notes. I want to grant one of my vassals a fief. So let's see. Um, let's go ahead and give this fortress to one of my new Roman lords. How about this one? Yep. And then another fief. The other fortress to my other recent Roman lord. Very good. And, um, hmm. I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to keep that village unclaimed for now. And whichever one of these two Roman lords really delivers in the coming Bosporan campaign, I will reward them with that village. But guys, the general needs your help. You need to remind me that when those lords do a, oh, an excellent job and when it's time to reward them, you need to remind me of these things. I, I can take notes all day, but I need your help. I need your help to remind me. But anyway, I take a sip of my tasty beverage. Hmm. It's wonderful today. My, my, my cup bear is doing an excellent job. An excellent job. You know when you don't mention your cup bear, you know that's when they're doing an excellent job. Yeah, exactly. So, the last fief we want to hand out is the... Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and take Pity Yunt for ourselves. Very good. Okay, so, I think we're all square. Yep, Chancer's good. You prove yourself, good sir. You you prove yourself, and I'll give you that village. And increase your income. I see you. I see you. I hope you've got good Roman gear. 
Uh, one of the things, guys, I've also learned from one of the mod developers is that there are two types of gear that NPCs carry. There's, of course, one in the court, and there's one out in the field. And um, I need to make sure that I've got all of my men Romanized correctly, so hopefully we can get that get to that day make sure when you talk to them on the field you give them armor and when you talk to them in the court you give them robes and I think I'm gonna need to pick up a lot of robes because um, there's quite a few of my lords that I gave them armor on the field but I did not give them robes in the, in the court so we're gonna take care of that hopefully today but guys we're gonna take care of the most important business and that's Recruiting some new men and heading down to Petra Fortress and hopefully squashing this Armenian rebellion So here's what I'm talking about When you know, I forget these things sometimes there's so many little details in this mod You just got to keep keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper and you find all these amazing things Of course, you can hire a group of men here, but guys if you go to the marketplace Obviously, you can hire some troops here, and if I ask about, look at all the amazing options. And by the way, there's mercenary engineers that you can pick up here. So, you know, I've been looking for a way to get more engineers. Well, here it is. Here it is. I hope, I hope this works. I'm going to grab one engineer, and then I was looking at this. And um, these Sarissifor Militia look pretty boss, right? These guys look incredible, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try a few of them out. I, I think there's yeah there's military settlers yeah you guys are boring throws of stones and javelins and recruits and elite archers I those aren't fire archers I don't know if they recruit into fire archers I'll recruit one and we we can check that out a little bit later but I'm definitely gonna get these guys and I'm gonna check it out I'm gonna get as many as I can carry in my party. Oh, yeah, I can have a little division of them. All right, so let me head back. Oh, let me leave here. Okay, let's let's look at our party and see what we've done with this. So there's that militia. Ooh, and they've already upgraded into warriors. Ooh, this looks interesting. I'm excited about this. Let's see. Engineers are at five militia. What if I do six? Oh, if I can remember this. Six. The Sarissifor. I hope you men are good. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the in front of it. That's how That's how much pressure I'm putting on the these poor men. The Sarissifor. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna have to write a I'm gonna have to write a note to myself. There, there's so many different uh, groups I have in this uh, particular mod, but the Sarissa 4 is at 7. Ah, I see. I remembered that already. And now uh, let's see. The warrior's in there. Make sure you guys are also in there. And you know what? I'm going to bring them up to the top. Put you men at, the, at the, the very front of the battle. See how many survive. There you go. You warriors go up the top too. That's how we're going to play this. Alright, so we've got We've got a stocked army, guys, and we've also got this new... Hmm, I don't think you upgrade, do you? And we've got this mercenary engineer, so let's put them in, in, into engineers, and hopefully they do something. I think they do. They've got the engineer shield, so I feel pretty good about it. Also, guys, we've got to, we've got to drop off a ton of lords in... Uh, in this garrison there, there's so many things to do yes enjoy spending your time with all these armenian lords there's also armenian czar there so you should uh, have a great time look at all these bosporan lords frankly you men are going to be spending the rest of your days in this dungeon i think there's a oh my god there's so many lords we're gonna have to visit them soon but we've got too much to do today guys way too much okay you know there's one more thing i needed to do and uh, we need to manage this town. And frankly, we've been neglecting this. And I'm upset with you subscribers. You have not been reminding me to keep doing these improvements. That's how you become a subscriber knight. Reminding me of these things. 
uh, being a good advisor and counselor. But here's what we're going to do. There's an option. We can either build a port fleet. And this is interesting. The military shipyard will allow to employ military fleet with team of ships. That's interesting. It takes 58 days to do that. The other thing I thought that was interesting is you can build elite stables. An elite stable will allow to breed, allow you to breed hardy horses and to train horseback riders with peaks. Bad English, obviously, but um, I think it allows you to upgrade or, or recruit some elite uh, men on horseback. So, what would be more valuable to me? Uh, more, more, f more ships? Or better... I, I think I'm going to do the stables. Plus, it's, it's quicker and it's cheaper. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I just don't see the need for, for more ships or a bigger fleet. Uh, but you guys let me know if I made a mistake here. I'd really like to know. Now, the rest of them... Um, well, we can't go to them now. But the rest of them were basically just ways for me to improve my relationship with the town. I'll get to that in good time, but my relationship's pretty good right now, and the money's flowing in. The gold is, is looking good, and uh, hopefully later on this episode, we can go to the military school and take care of some things. All right, so thing, it, it looks like things have been fairly quiet on the Bosporan front, so we're going to try to sneak our way over to Petra Fortress, uh, but I'm going to make sure I take a quick save. All right, guys, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to march to Petra, see what we can do, test out our new militia, our uh, Sarissaphor, who is in uh, group number seven. I'm remembering, I rem I'm remembering, and uh, when we get there, hopefully nothing happens. Hopefully the Tsar doesn't get a huge army and is sieging one of my fortresses. Um, so when I get there, guys, I'll cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. This is very interesting. Immediately... They're offering me peace, and I think I'm going to accept it. I think it's the best thing to do. We can always go and attack them by surprise, which may be the best thing. And we're going to try to do it before they end that war with the other Roman um, kingdom. But for now, this would be perfect for us. We can take care of this Armenian rebellion, build up our army, uh, build up our forces over in our new Bosporan territory, and then get ready to strike. Uh, so I'm going to accept this peace agreement. <laughs> oh, this is funny. It's like the Armenians. Like, hey, I'm just going to sneak in this peace agreement. Uh, hopefully you won't notice and you'll just sign it. No, I'm heading down to squash this rebellion. I reject it. I reject it. So we've made peace with the Bosporan Kingdom, but I'm still heading down to Petra. Nothing's going to stop this. So once I get there, guys, I will see you there. Frankly, the general's a little bit irritated that this damn Armenian rebellion makes me march all the way out to this godforsaken desert just to squash these few men that are in Petra Fortress. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is unbelievable. 150 men? <sighs> well, here's the deal. Are you ready, subscriber knight? January, January, just Dennis. Are you ready, Jeremiah Salvius? Are you ready to squash these Armenian rebels? Also, I'm going to make sure that I send in my Sarissafor militia right away. I'm going to bloody them early. But, um, yep, let's go ahead and do it, guys. We're going to go ahead and siege Petra Fortress. See how quickly we can do this. Yeah, let's besiege the castle. Prepare the ladders. Let's do it. <sighs> just frankly, I'm just very upset that it's come to this. But look how quickly my men built the ladders. I think they're ready to go. Listen, I'm not going to give any mercy to the men, women, and children inside this fortress. They will all be slain. And, and that is the price they will pay for rebelling against Nova Roma. Take a sip of my tasty beverage. Guys, I'm a little bit upset. The general's upset today. I know, even though we made peace with the Bosporan Kingdom, that these Armenians should just... It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable! Well, let's lead our men in the assault. Alright, everyone hold on me. Let's go ahead and set this up properly. 
Here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and set the fire archers up here. I'm going to uh, have the infantry and cavalry hold on me. And, and number seven, which is the Cerise 4, go ahead and charge in. Go ahead and charge in. Where, where are they? They should, they should be close by. Cavalry, go ahead and hold way back. Infantry, hold a little bit closer. Make sure to protect those fire archers. Oh, and that's... How many, how many Swiss 4 we have going in? Alright, let's uh, bring the infantry up on me as well. We're going to need to send them in right away, right after. And it looks like I'm going to have to send my Roman engineers way back because we did not get onagers in this. Infantry, charge up. Charge up, infantry. There we go. Go up, man. Go, 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 go. Actually, let, let, let me get in on this. Frankly, the general... Yeah, yeah, okay. Come on, guys. Let me, let me get on this ladder. The general's a little bloodthirsty today, frankly. I tell you, everybody's greedy on this ladder. Greedy ladder climbers. Uh, Swiss Boy, how, how are you doing? I haven't seen... I was too busy climbing the ladder. I, I couldn't quite make out what they were doing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I frankly can't see anything. Hmm, what if I can get behind these? My huge shield! Whoa, what happened there? Someone knocked me on my ass. Oh, and there's more men coming up. Let's see if I can hold this corner. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh well, my goodness. Can, can, can we get some more men up on the top of these walls? Can we get some more men on the top of these damn walls? Wow, they are coming from all sides. Alright. Oh, General's got some for you, don't worry. Told you he was bloodthirsty today, but it, it, it took uh, quite an ordeal to get up to this point, and um, hmm, I, I think we're paying dearly for it. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Almost there. What we said this is the last 50 men. Those Armenian axemen are absolutely tough. They are brutal. Ooh, I think I see a shield. Uh, a, a poor shield, but it shall do for now. Let's see if we can get down here and help our men out. All right, finally we've got some uh, some men coming up. I think we can finish this off. Come on, push through, Romans, push through. I knew these rebels would be tough. They always are. They always are. Wait, 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 wait. Is it just you and me? Yep, I didn't think so. Right, I think we're yes, there it is. There it is. <sighs> they're always more difficult than you think they're going to be. But we did it with only two shields and tw well, ten killed. Let's see, Sarissa four. Okay, one of the warriors killed. Uh, militia, only five wounds. Not too bad. Not too bad. I bet you we've got a ton of upgrading. 36 killed for my allies. Ugh. This, this was tough. I tell you, those Armenian axemen are pretty tough. And this bastard managed to escape. That's okay. That's okay. Let's see. Um, can we refill 
Ooh, two Roman engineers. I'll take you very much. Oh, I'll take you as well. What else? Oh, two fire archers. You just can't ask for more. Ooh, those guys are expensive, though. Most ex... Well, no, they're not. I'll take them. Um, and what else? Um, precips? Sure. Well, we'll take some castats and trumpeters and... Yeah, some archers and triaries and there's just so many, so many good things we can grab. Wow, I'm, I'm so sorry for all you poor men who've been rotting away in these dungeons. Well, I guess we'll just take you and finish it off. Ooh, and General Rufus is upgraded as well. There's, there's so much to do here. So much to do. Um, hmm. Well, you know, for good reason, I give you time for robbery. That's right, that's right. Your army plunders and takes prisoner inhabitants. Yeah, that's right. Make them all your slaves. Yep, I told you it was going to happen. It was only a matter of time. Um, what's the garrison look like? Four Roman engineers. Wow, that's beautiful. But you know what? I, I have no problem getting engineers, so I think I'm going to give them um, some engineers, actually, to... Um, reinforce this garrison actually just reinforce it with a bunch of engineers we got some good stats that can hold it down I feel pretty good about that but frankly I'm gonna take all those fire archers guys fire archers are at, a, at a premium I'll give you I'll give you good stats all day here take some take some good stats and I'll take some fire archers wow that's amazing that's beautiful okay um, and nothing of interest here. Okay, so guys, we're in good shape. We took Petra Fortress, the 73 men in the garrison. I don't think we have to worry about it. We're not at war with anybody in Armenia. They're done. They're over. All right, so I'm going to head back to the capital. And guys, like I said, we've got so much more to do. Uh, so when I get there, I'll cut right back. I'll see you guys in a second. The subscriber night, Jeremiah. I, I have a... I need you to send a message to all the vassals of the realm. Let's end the campaign. We no longer need our forces. Let everyone go home. The war's over, and I'm going to go ahead and also do some upgrading while I'm here. Um, so we have a lot of plans to do to finish off this episode. What I want to do is we probably need to head over to, to Tars and pick up some Roman robes and some Roman gear and see if we can upgrade a few of our men. Guys, look at how... Our kingdom's growing. Look at all this. We own all this territory here. And frankly, it's just a matter of time. Now that we have Petra and this fortress here, it's almost, you know, we should just kind of complete the circle and eventually get Jerusalem, which I think is the only, it's the only, well, there's two, two Judean strongholds left. Jerusalem and Masada Fortress. So, Maybe when we're done with the boss run, we can have a little vacation war down in Judea. Uh, but I think I got another, another notification that... Uh, reject it. Reject it. I think I got another notification that there's another lord who wants to join Nova Roma. Guys, when it rains, it pours. Unbelievable. And I believe it's another giant. Well, uh, I think... I, I will accept you, sir. I, I would be scared not to. Look how huge this guy is. He can't even fit on the screen. Absolutely. I would be scared not to. I'm going to walk away. Very carefully, good sir. This is always a gamble when you go and try to pick up some good Roman gear. So, uh, let's go to the armor merchant. Alright. Oh, good. We've got some... Oh, some senator togas. That's good. Horseman toga. What's the difference? They look the same to me. Oh, okay. The the the, uh, the thickness of the stripes. I see. Hmm. I'd hate to downgrade anybody by giving them a horseman toga versus a senator toga. Ah, but I think I will. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a couple of those. Okay. So we need some good, some good Roman gear. I don't want to spend too much. That's incredibly expensive. I, I don't think so. But, is there anything down here? Mm. 
Well, I, guess, I guess I can grab this from one of my low-end lords. Uh, that as well. And then how about... Yep, I'll go ahead and grab one of those. And uh, how about... For the lowest of the low lord, how about this? Okay, so I can replace two to three lords. There's definitely a lord... I believe one of them that we saw in the last episode that is in dire need of robes. He's just walking around in his underwear. So that, that's just unacceptable. And uh, Nova Roma also. Let's uh, go ahead and put on a, a better shield. Let's get some goods while we're here too. My men need some more sausage and some more grain. I think we're good here. Ask about any good troops here. Nope. Nope. I feel good about my troops. All right. See if there's anything interesting in the tavern. You know, I've just realized, wow, this is incredible. Guys, there was a, a, a time back that, if you remember, I bought a tiger. And I, I don't know what happened to it. My, my tiger disappeared. He left me. And my horses, not my horses, my dogs, my pups, they're in the kennel back in Antioa, the, the capital. Uh, but my tiger left me, so this is this is unbelievable. There's there's a beast merchant right here. Show me what you have for sale, good sir. Ah ha ha! All right, this is great. Let's see. I know you guys have been telling me to buy an elephant. I need to upgrade my riding. I can't yet ride an elephant, but I think you're right. I think you're right. Very soon, I'm gonna need to get an elephant. But in the meantime. There is a cat, ooh, a bear, or a wolf. Hmm, take a sip while I contemplate. I like the whole bear idea. He may be slow, but he's ferocious. Let's go ahead and do the bear, right? Yeah. I feel good about the bear. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I can give somebody these robes too. One of my... A lowest of the low lords can wear this just humble Roman toga. All right, I think that's good. All right, so I can't ever see him getting the cat. I wish he could just hang around in, in the cork, but it, that won't happen. But um, guys, very soon I think we're going to get an elephant. We're going to get a mighty war elephant. Look at this. Armor of 100? Can I ride that? I sure hope I can. You know what? I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. And, um... I hope I can ride it. That is beautiful. Is that the best one they offer? 100 armor. Charge of 200. I think it's just down to which one you like better. Speed. Maneuver. Oh, this has better maneuver. Oh, I think that one's better. Maneuver 13. Maneuver 13. 690. Um, so yeah, I think that's the one we're gonna get. All right. Well, this this beast merchant's making a pretty penny off of us. Not only did we get a bear, but we got an, uh, an elephant we can't even ride yet. Very good. That's all I need. Okay. So we have accomplished a lot so far. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head out, guys. See if I can find some of these lords so I can Romanize them with this new gear. And uh, hopefully, when I find them, we can. Come right back, so I'm gonna see you guys in a second. Look at Lord Cotton. This is just completely unacceptable. Look what you're wearing. But I do appreciate the scar, good sir. Fellow scar holder right here, General Rufus. I think I like you. I think I like you. Um, let's see your equipment. So, oh, I see, that's where you came from. Barstarnian, or Bastarnian, whatever. Uh, let's see, how can, what, what, you know, I want to give you something really good. I think this would look pretty fine on you, good sir. And I'll give you, I'll give you the nice helmet, but because I like you. And I'm liking the shield, I'm liking the sword, I'm liking the boots. You keep rocking it, good sir. That is mighty fine indeed. Okay, that, look at that. That's so much better. That's so much better. Uh, that fits you. Um, let's ask you a question. This is very telling. Who do you think should receive this fief? You support yourself. I like you. I like you. That's what I thought. All right. On with you. On to more important business. 
Ooh, and look at this. <laughs> You're still hanging around protecting this fortress. You know, I really appreciate it, but I wonder... I'm going to have you just join my party because you're just hanging out here wasting your time. Should have probably sent you to this garrison, but uh, who's this lord? You can uh, reinforce your own garrison, good sir. But I am looking for a few lords to see if I can upgrade them. So, Armenia, that's never going to happen. Never going to happen. Wait a minute. East Party has declared war against the West Party. There's some stuff going down. And remember, I think it's the... Perhaps the North Party that's having all these parties, uh, all these problems. Yes. Germanicus, another lord, guys, has left Germanicus and he's joined Nova Roma. He's got some serious problems going down. They're at war with the Bosporan Kingdom. Um, the fighting has gone on for some time. The war may end soon with a truce. That's not good for Nova Roma. They're at war with the Judea. That shouldn't be a problem. They're, okay, so they're at war... The Parthians, I bet you. Man, they're at war with so many fronts. Everybody's leaving them. Seems like Germanicus could be the first emperor to go down. This is what I'm talking about. This is unacceptable in Nova Roma. Absolutely unacceptable. So unacceptable, I think I will punish you. I will give you a robe, but I will give you the worst robe I have. Because that's what you deserve. Now, I'm going to give you this. This toga. I hope you enjoy it. And take this off. That's absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going I'm to leave that, that other stuff on you. I'm afraid to take it off. <sighs> very good. Very good. And let's see if this worked. Ooh. Let's uh, go back to the Lord's Hall. Ah, there it is. There it is. That's way more appropriate. Way more appropriate for Nova Roma. Instead of you walking around in your underwear. You know, I didn't realize that I can attempt to visit a lady here. And you know, I should keep my options open. And, and that reminds me that maybe in the next episode, before we uh, start our Bosporan Kingdom campaign once more, we need to go ahead and uh, try to uh, get that marriage agreement with that East Party Roman once more. But um, let's see if we can do this. We need to keep our options open, right? There she is. Very nice. Alright, let's talk. Let's see. Okay. Um. Wonder what this would do. Okay. Oh. Alright. So I've got a. Actually, I've got I've got a couple of ladies on the side, frankly. He's. General Rufus is quite the bachelor indeed. Alright, so uh, we're heading out trying to Romanize some more lords. Aha! Armenia is no more. Now, some of you were saying that uh, the reason the faction wasn't eliminated is because I had some of my the Armenian lords in my dungeons. But that's not the case. It was because uh, I didn't see Petra Fortress. But this is great news. I wonder... I just want to make sure that my prizes are still in my capital. So let's... Let's head that way. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Um, let's talk. Okay, wait. I've already talked to you on the battlefield. No need to do that. Ooh, you are new, though. Have I? Oh, we're getting sidetracked here, but uh, I need to talk to you. Ah, we need to change you, too. Completely unacceptable. Now, let's see your equipment. Ooh, I do like your shield, though. We will keep that. Um, I will give you this. And I, you know what? You look like you would wear that. That is completely you. It is perfect. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. And uh, let's get a good sense of who you are. Who do you think should receive this thief? You know, you probably support yourself because you don't have one. Let's see if they're still in our dungeon. Oh, there's the czar. Oh, that's beautiful. I think we're going to have to visit them all before the end of this episode all right guys the, the one last thing i wanted to do is i wanted to go ahead and move my fleet all the way over to our new um capital in the black sea i guess you could say um so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh once i'm done i'm gonna cut right back so I'll see you guys in a second our fleet has finally made it to pitiune and we are docked 
But I need your counsel, guys. I need your help. Uh, General Rufus is contemplating how we're going to attack the Bosford Kingdom on this second campaign. Now, we know we're going to reinforce this garrison and make it much larger so we can uh, gather our army and uh, attack this second part of the Bosford Kingdom. But how should we do that? Should we attack this island first? Should we hit the towns first? Should we hit the fortresses first? Guys, you let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions on how to attack on this second Bosporan campaign. Uh, but guys, uh, before we go, I want to go ahead and upgrade General Rufus. Now, he's level 23. And what would be most beneficial? I think we're good on engineering. I think we're good on persuasion. Prison management, I think I'm fine on. Um, we haven't yet got a surgeon, so we're, we're kind of doing that right now. If we put some more into strength, that could help us out. Some more in agility would give us some more athletics, some more shield. You know, we do want to ride that elephant, right? We do want to ride that elephant, and uh, that's all through agility. So I think, yeah, we're going to give ourselves some more agility so we can get ourselves up to riding of six soon. But in the meantime, why don't we put one more into shield? I think that'll be pretty good. And then, uh, let's see. More into throwing. That's what we're trying to learn. Very good. The General has been enjoying a mighty fine feast with his two subscriber knights, Justinus and Jeremiah, in the dining hall of Pityunt. But guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I had a great time today. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. It's one of the best and easiest ways to help this channel grow and also to become a subscriber knight. I like these two gentlemen behind me. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, guys, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Imperial Rome.